You mind if I just take a couple quick ones? What's your name? Philip. Philip, my name's Dirk. Dirk Johnson, a man who spends a lot of his time on wheels with a camera. <laughs> Can I take a picture of you? No. I love your chair. He documents Thank the you. life and the rhythms oh. of downtown Salt Lake City. And he loves to capture some of its visual poetry. It forces you to start looking around. And I found that this was a beautiful city. Lots of fun things to take pictures of. But mostly when he's on the streets. <laughs> I missed it a little bit. Well, he shoots people. Well, see what's down further. Why don't I take your picture in front of the wall? He's beyond polite when he points his camera. <laughs> he typically hands out a business card. I never embarrass anyone, I promise. Most people say yes. Beautiful. Three beautiful ladies, how can I go wrong? The special people, though. Do you mind if I take a couple of pictures? Are those who are always on the street. I do take a lot of pictures of the homeless and people living on the street, panhandlers. I'll, I'll talk to them and, and get to know a lot of them. After several years of this. So I've seen both ends, guys that are struggling. He's learned to feel compassion for those who can get around better than he can but have no place to go. Hey, thanks. Yeah, have a good one. And that taught me that there's a lot of people that really, really don't want to be on the street that would like to get off. What really gets his photographic juices flowing is a long way from the city. It's out here in wild horse country. Those are his favorite photographic subjects. Taking an expedition to horse country is hard work, an ordeal, really. At age 20, Johnson was in a rollover accident and wound up paralyzed from the waist down. He needs help from an aide to get into his Jeep. But he drives the back roads of the desert by himself, and he knows where to go to find the Anaki herd of wild horses. I love it. They're easier than people. They're a lot of fun. And they're real active when they come down to water. That's what makes it fun. It just, it's a joy to come sit with them and just take pictures all day and watch them. His joy had its origin at one of his life's low points. A few years ago, he was alone, unable to work, struggling to find a reason to go on. I just couldn't find anything to, be, to keep my life worth putting up to, with the hard stuff. Oops. I was depressed. I had given up. I had gone to bed and said, Lord, I'm ready. Just take me any time. And he didn't, so I had to come up with another plan. About six years ago, a friend gave him a beginner's camera. He started shooting people and then wild horses. Yes, it's my, it's my passion. It, it started out as photography and it's morphed into a love of these wild horses. He doesn't shoot for money, just for Facebook. For him, it's all about the living things in front of his camera. Oh, here they go or behind it. It's time to start moving. It's anything that keeps me distracted from the day-to-day -day grind, and it's just, it's just a pleasure to watch them run free. It makes me jealous. <laughs> I like that feeling of running, so. John Hollenhorst, KSL 5 News, with the Anaki Wild Horse Herd near Dugway Proving Ground.